Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, if I talk a little bit funny today, I just came back from the dentist and got a procedure done that is called Invisalign. I had to do this, and for people that have been following this channel, you know that I was a vegan for four years straight. Being vegan destroyed my dental health completely, and my teeth started to become crooked. This is why now I will have to wear this Invisalign for half a year straight. No, this is not an advertisement whatsoever. I'm genuinely just warning you guys in case I talk funny. Now, today we're going to react to the concept of beauty and seduction in Islam by Muslima Purmul. This is a very fascinating subject because I believe intuitively as men we do not feel like approaching hijabis. Intuitively this veil displays that those women are not to be approached, especially not to be approached with desire by strange men. Even people that are not religious, even atheists, they feel it instinctively. They know that those women should not be approached by them. It is a beautiful protection. Nevertheless, today we're going to talk about beauty and seduction in Islam. With no further ado, let's have a look. And you should feel beautiful in your hijab, but you should not feel sexy. Makes sense. And that's a different concept. That's a different concept altogether. And that's ugly. And that's seductive. And that's harmful. Seduction as a concept is something where the person who is seeking to do it is seeking to control someone else's behavior. It's not goodwill. Goodwill comes from a desire to give and let people be good and uh, to be in a good state. And it's consideration. It's, w it's wanting them to be safe. It's wanting them to be protected. That's goodwill. Seduction is I want this person to be affected by me in a way where I can control, you know, that interaction. Absolutely correct. What she mentions here is the sexual power that women, especially young women, have over men. Think about it. The value derived from a woman in this day and age, in this society, comes from her sexual attractiveness. It is really true. Men, on the other hand, they have to build themselves up. They have to work for their worth. Look at it. They have to go out and conquer the world. They have to make money. They have to become millionaires, billionaires, successful, rich, business business people, famous celebrities and what not in order to have a perceived value by this society. Women on the other hand with a little bit of luck in the genetic lottery don't have to do anything. Put a little bit of makeup on, nice clothes, that's it. All of a sudden their market value raises just by doing absolutely nothing. Back in the day I used to be in the pickup scene. Shame on me. Nowadays it is known as the red pill scene. Point of the story is back then we had that concept that if a man walks into a club he will never be the light of the party no matter what his value is think about it he could be a billionaire and he enters that club okay now he can start buying all the bottles he can get a vip table and whatnot to symbolize his status he has to do all of those things to be this one man that is the king in the club a woman on the other hand an 18 19 20 year old woman that is genetically gifted has to do absolutely nothing she just walks into the club and her value is higher than anybody else's Yet again, this man can be a CEO, can be a boss. In his company, he is the man. But in that club, his status is lower than that of a 20-year-old girl that is jobless, that dropped out of school. She just needs a miniskirt and makeup. It's absolutely mind-boggling yet again. But point of the story is, yes, with that sexual appearance, she is controlling the reality of those men. She is indirectly controlling those men of course she has so much power and that power is taken away from her with the hijab but that is a power that corrupts her so therefore it's a good thing to take it away from her example i like to use sometimes with young people is in the movie lord of the rings um what does the elf queen what is it lady galadria what does the elf queen say when they put the ring of power when frodo puts the ring of power in her hand 
What did she say? Essentially, the ring represents the voice of shaitan, right? The, what, is, what, is, what is her sisters? What is our enemy telling us? What is our enemy tempting us with? Tempting us with? I want all men to look at me and despair. That is the voice of shaitan. Sure. It's seduction. And it's, it, it comes from needing to have power over other people. And it is not even like a more, I mean, a, a, a more benign intention would be to, that a sister is, just wants to get married and have a spouse. That's a benign intention. But this is, I don't even care about you, but I want you to be desperate for me. Absolutely right. That is evil. That is, the, that, is, that is quintessentially evil. Yes, it's very evil and it's temporary on top of that because the woman thinks like that when she's in her 20s and then when she went through all kinds of men, all kinds of degeneracy, she enters her 30s and she becomes desperate. Now all of a sudden she wants to settle down, have a dog and start a family. But now nobody wants her. So you're right. This power comes from Shaitan because it is a lie. It makes her ultimately the victim of her own power. Power. She goes for a decade from her 20s to her 30s manipulating men, having promiscuous sex, and then in the end she ends up alone as a single mom. Um, and that's, you know, a society that's, again, the Western society really promotes the culture of seduction. Yep. And it promotes the seducers, you know, that so and so can be this, you know, they're so powerful because they can do this, this female actress or that male actor. A and we are the bitch. opposite. We have a completely different paradigm. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said that every religion has a distinct characteristic and the distinct characteristic of Islam is Haya. So again, Haya coming from goodwill, what is from actually not wanting to harm creation, from wanting that creation to be at peace with, it, with its brother and its sister. And that doesn't mean that if a person, again, because everything has to be, this is like a very you know, thick topic, it, if, a, if someone is not intending to be seductive and someone else is attracted to them, that's not your fault. And in Islam, sure. uh, being beautiful is not a wrong intention. So, uh, that Allah is beautiful and He loves beauty. Beauty is a, a very important spiritual concept in Islam. And a man or a woman can, in, can, can and should feel like before they leave the house, they should look presentable, they should have a beautiful appearance. There's nothing that is wrong with this concept, but they should never intend seduction because seduction is harm. And we have to separate the two in a society that doesn't separate the two. And we have to separate the two even in Eastern cultures that don't separate the two. All right. So you separate the two in that every morning a sister, when she's wearing her clothing, she should feel beautiful. Even with hijab, even with, you know, hijab is not about covering beauty as we call it. Hijab is redefining what beauty is. Hijab is saying, I'm going to be, I'm going to do what is beautiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so you adorn yourself with clothing that is beautiful. All right, guys, and this is already it for this short video. It is a precise distinction made between sexy, between seduction and beauty. It is absolutely correct. Even from an Orthodox Christian perspective, we have the concept of philancholia, which means that God loves beauty, that God creates beauty. Everywhere you look, you see beauty, but you do not see seduction. Seduction is a trap, of course. And as I said throughout the video, seduction is temporary. Women have a very, very short time frame and when they capitalize on that power that is given to them they will be the losers in the end i have to repeat this quote that you heard a thousand times before i'm sure ultimate power corrupts ultimately people cannot handle true power we are not made for it so this is why we do appreciate being humble when somebody is actively humble he stays away from power even though he could abuse that power but in being humble you're truly doing god's will because you remove your ego and you follow what is right. Of course it is easy to abuse that power and an 18, 19, 20 year old woman is obviously not in the position to control that power. That power controls her. What will she get out of it? Nothing of course. She will fall prey to her own beauty. It is the story of Narciss. Ultimately it is narcissism. The looks of those men will feed her ego. She will think that she is on top of the world and in a sense she is because yes it is true she has some power over those men but it will fade in a few years her beauty will be gone her youth will be gone her market value will be gone it is literally like a billion
billionaire that loses all his money. It is just running out. Every day he's getting poorer. It is the same with the woman. I know this sounds misogynistic and sexist, but ultimately it is the truth, of course. This woman already peaked in her early 20s and now the time is ticking. It is running out. In the end, that perceived power will actually get her away from what is really good for her and what would really make her happy in the long run. A family, children, a wholesome life, a loving husband. All of that she's compromising by having promiscuous sex. All of this she's compromising by being the light of the party. And the further she pushes it out, the higher the chances are that she will end up alone. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.